Hello guys and welcome back to our modding series. We have actually re-enabled the developer console in 60 seconds. This has been a huge request. A lot of people have said that our last tutorial didn't actually work. So with special thanks to one of our viewers, we've actually fixed it up. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to re-enable the developer console. Let's go ahead and get started. I would just like to give a huge shout out to Sith Boxer, your comment on screen right now. Special thanks for actually pointing out that you could actually re-enable this. We thought this hack was broken, but it turns out you can just re-enable it using the suggestion from Sith Boxer. So thanks a lot, mate. We are going to be using a tool called dnspy.exe today. Come over to the GitHub repo, there's a link in this in the video description. Come to the release section and go dnspy.zip, go ahead and download that. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and double click on dnspy.exe to pop it up. Jump into your Steam, Steam apps, common, 60 seconds, 60 seconds underscore data, and then manage. Inside of there, you'll see assembly.c sharp. Go ahead and drag that straight into dnspy. Alternatively, if you can't drag and drop it, you can always go file and select open, and then browse for that same DLL. You're going to get this thing here, assembly.c sharp. Go ahead and expand that. Keep expanding all the way down until we get to the dash, and then scroll all the way down. The one we're actually interested in is right down towards the very, very bottom here. We're actually interested in survive control. Click on that. And on the right hand side, we're going to get some code loading up right here. Awesome. Go ahead and smash control F and then search for the word update. You're looking for the function highlighted on the screen right now. All right. Now, as you can see, this function is completely empty. We need to actually put some code in here. Now, depending on the version of the game you're running, you may possibly see some code in here. So if you're running a really old version of the game, there will be some code in here. We're going to go ahead and just change this code. So even if there is some code in here, that's perfectly fine. But if it's the newest version of the game, there won't be any code here. Go ahead and right click on this. We're actually going to go edit method C sharp. This is going to pop open a code editor. Let's just snap this across to the side here. Awesome. We're going to put in some new lines here. Now I'm going to put this code in the description of the video so you guys can copy and paste it. So I've already got it in my clipboard. I'm just going to go ahead and paste it. It looks something like this. If input.kit key down F2, then global tools that activate dev console. Simple as that. Now hopefully they don't break this again. So once that's copied in, just come all the way down, smash on that compile button right there. It's going to get recompiled and you should see your code get updated. This is what you want to see. Awesome. So it's been updated correctly. That is perfect. All right. Simple change. All we need to do is go file, save all. You're going to pop up similar to this. Just go ahead and smash OK. And that's it. The developer console is now enabled. Let's go ahead and test it in game. Here we go, guys. We're back in game. Let's go ahead and smash one new game. Classic mode. We're going to jump into survival and just go default settings. So this will pop us straight into the shelter. Pretty much in the shelter is where this actually works. So if you're not inside the shelter, it's kind of pointless to even have the developer console. The rest of it's just kind of filler. All right, here we are. Now we should be able to smash. There we go. Day one. F there we go. Press F2, just like I said in the code, and just type the word help. And here we go, guys. All of the developer console stuff is back. So that's perfect. All right, let's go ahead and try this out. We can see some commands here. Let's just go skip underscore days. Let's go skip underscore days 10. Awesome. Now, if we just jump out of this console, let's hit F2 again. Click on this. So we're on day one. So I've just tried to skip 10 days. So now we should be on day, hopefully. There we go, day 12. That's perfect. So pretty much all this stuff here, you can figure it out. It's kind of self-explanatory. Just type help and it explains it. So for example, if you type the word characters, it'll actually list out. So there's dad, mom, son, daughter. So where it says it needs a character ID, you would type dad. And then likewise, you know, you've got your targets. These are all the things you can target. You've got your items. Just basically sub stuff in. Hey guys, if you're interested in actually learning about what the console can actually do, we did make an older video which actually explains a lot of the functionalities. So you can go ahead and check that video out. Otherwise, we're going to keep this short and go ahead and wrap it up right here. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next episode.